Welcome to this video guide, all about getting started with Discord. Discord is a messaging and voice chat app that has fast become extremely popular for various online communities. In this video, I'll walk you through what Discord is, how to use key features like text and voice chat, customizing your profile, and more. Let's start with the basics, what actually is Discord? Essentially, it's an app that provides custom spaces called servers for groups and communities to hang out in. You can create or join these servers based around specific topics, hobbies, friend groups, and more. Servers have different text and voice chat channels to keep conversations organized. Text channels are spaces just for written messages, while voice channels let you hop on voice and video calls. You'll see different channels in the sidebar for whatever topics your server covers, like channels for chatting about gaming, planning events, sharing memes, etc. Finding Channels Each server has various text channels dedicated to specific topics. Navigate through them on the left panel. Joining the conversation, click on a channel to start reading and contributing to the discussion. Responding Type your message in the chat bar at the bottom and press enter to send it. Formatting. Use simple shortcuts to bold, italicize, add spoilers, and more. Check out the Discord Help Center for a detailed guide. Reacting. Click the emoji icons below a message to react to it with different emotions or expressions. Mentioning users. Type at the rate followed by a username to mention someone specific in the conversation. Uploading files. Drag and drop files, or click the plus icon to upload images, videos, and other files to the channel. How to use voice channels. Joining the party. Click on a voice channel to join the conversation. Start talking. That's it. You'll see a blue outline around your avatar when you speak. Muting slash unmuting. Click the microphone icon in the bottom left corner to mute slash unmute yourself. Adjusting volume. Use the slider next to each user's avatar to adjust their individual volume. Video chat. Click the video icon to turn on your camera and see others' cameras. Sharing your screen. Click the screen icon to share your entire screen or specific application window. You can create separate text and voice channels for different topics or activities within your server. Use the push to talk feature. Settings greater than voice and video to avoid accidental microphone activation. Customize your voice and video settings, settings greater than voice and video, for optimal performance. Remember, Discord is all about connecting with others. Don't hesitate to explore different servers, join conversations, and make new friends. Ready to take your Discord connection to the next level with video chat? Here's your quick and easy guide. Step one, join the party. Find the desired voice channel on your server and click it. This will automatically join you and enable voice chat. Step 2. Show your face. Click the video icon in the bottom left corner. This activates your camera and adds your video feed to the channel. Need to adjust your camera settings? Click the gear icon, user settings, in the bottom left corner. Go to voice and video settings. Update your camera input device or adjust other settings. Bonus tips. Navigate away and back. Just click the voice channel again to bring back your video feed. Want to change your camera? Follow the steps above to update your input device. Remember to be kind and respectful to everyone in the video chat. How to share your screen? Ready to show your friends your latest project, game, or anything else on your screen? Discord screen share feature makes it simple. Step 1. Join the fun. Click on the desired voice channel in your server. This will connect you to the voice chat and enable screen share capabilities. Step 2. Share away. Click the screen icon in the voice panel at the bottom left corner. A new window will appear. Step 3. Choose your focus. Select what you want to share. Individual application window. Choose a specific program you're working on. Entire screen. Share everything on your desktop. Step 4. Let the show begin. Click the Go Live button when you're ready to start sharing your screen. Keep in mind, currently, audio sharing is only available when sharing an application window on Windows 10. Mac and Linux users can share audio yet. Watch streams and screen shares on Discord. Ready to see what your friends are up to. 
Discord's live streams and screen shares offer a fun way to watch and participate. Step 1. Find the action. Look for the live icon next to usernames and voice channels. This indicates someone is sharing their screen or streaming. Step 2. Join the fun. Click on the username with the live icon. This will automatically join you to their stream. Customize your view. Resize and reposition the viewing window to your liking. Control the stream's audio using the volume icon while hovering over the stream. Design your own emojis. Express yourself on Discord. Every server has a unique personality, and custom emojis are a great way to express it. Turn any image into an emoji and add a fun twist to your server's communication. Number 1. Permission Check Before you start, ensure you have the Manage Emojis permission. Server creators have this by default, but others need to request it from the server owner. Number 2. Finding Server Settings Desktop. Click your server name, open the drop-down, and choose server settings. Mobile. Swipe left to channels, tap your server name, and select server settings. Number 3. Upload your emoji creation. In server settings, navigate to the emoji tab. This is where your emoji magic happens. Upload your preferred image and watch it transform into a custom emoji for everyone to use. Tips for Emoji Masters Keep images under 256 KB for easy uploading. Ping format with transparency is recommended for the best look. Aim for small and simple designs for optimal display. How to add a status to your voice slash video call. Want to give your friends a heads up on what you're discussing before they join your voice chat. Now you can set a status message to share the topic at hand, whether it's ultimate game night, movie marathon, or simply hanging out. Here's how. Number 1. Check permissions. Make sure you have the set voice channel status permission enabled in your server. If not, ask your server owner or moderator to grant it to you. Number 2. Set your message, join a voice channel, and look for the set a channel status option under the channel name in the server list. Click on it, and a new window will appear where you can type your status message. Feel free to add emojis for some extra fun. Number 3. Go live. Once you're happy with your message, click Set Status and it will be visible to everyone else in the server. For server owners and moderators, controlling permissions. You can decide who can change the voice channel status by adjusting the set voice channel status permission within the role slash channel permission settings. Moderation. Use AutoMod to block certain phrases or words from appearing in status messages. Additionally, all status changes are logged in the audit log for easy tracking. Whether you're joining an existing community or want to create your own server, Discord makes it really fun and easy to connect. Thanks for watching. Hope this video gave you what you need to get started. Let us know which new addition you're finding most useful in the comments below. For ongoing updates, make sure to subscribe.